everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my sticker storage slash sticker collection video. And today I'm going to be showing you um, binders that are shop specific. So I have four binders here that are designated to shops. So let's just get started. And um, these are mini binders, by the way. So... You can find these at Office Depot, Office Max. I like to get mine at the Target Dollar Spot because they are very inexpensive and they are $3 um, and they're so cute. So this first binder here is designated for Halupico, which I am a PR girl for. And she gifted this to me as part of my PR package so I thought that was very sweet of Tasha and I just keep all my Halupa Co stickers in here so in here I just for all my binders actually I have sheet protectors you can get those online um, in Target or in Walmart so I just put as many um, sheet protectors as I need so this first sheet here I just have like the mini sheets um, that's part of my collection. I have these nail polish stickers, um, these coffee cups, and behind these coffee cups are some laptops. And then I have habits here. We have some three heart checklists, appointment boxes. These are the larger appointment boxes. And then I also have the smaller, skinnier appointment boxes. And then I have a personal kit here. Um, that's the second page of the personal kit, which is there. And then I have one full kit here. And um, I just used my mini kit and a, pers or a full kit, which is why this binder is pretty bare. Um, but I just placed an order with her because she does have some new releases out. So if you guys want to check out her shop, I will leave the link down below. And I also have a coupon code. So go check out her shop. The second binder that I'm going to be showing you right here, I should zoom you guys out a little bit. This is my Scribble Prints Co. binder and it is definitely, it's huge. Um, it's pretty packed. Yeah, it's, it's like bulging. So that's kind of why I want to change my sticker storage because, I don't know, it just isn't working out as functionally as it used to be. So this first page here, I just keep all the freebies in here. Um, I have all the glitter header. Um, let's see. We have the glitter header samplers. Um, some monthly colored glitter items in here. As well as very, very old like um, holiday samplers from Scribble Prints Co. These were from last year. So I just keep these in here just in case I need them. And then what else do we have? We turn the page. I have an ultimate kit here that was just shown in a haul. And then I have the rest of these are all kits because I don't really buy like monthly colored items just because I feel like kits come with everything they need. So in here I have the Eternal Sleep Ultimate Kit as well as the Personal Kit. Um, next page is the Midnight Ultimate Kit. We have the October Mystery Kit here. And I do pre-plan, you guys, which is kind of why I don't film, like, plan with me's in my Erin Condren. I just have a bad habit of sort of pre-planning and putting down stickers. So I have, like, kits here. Kit kit scraps or things that I already placed in my planner so I have a bunch I have like three kits in here yeah I think I have three kits that I already laid down so there's that um, we have the photograph ultimate kit little black dress ultimate kit Brad and Kirsten's um, ult wedding ultimate kit we have the dance kit we have this uh, September Ultimate Kit, and I don't know the name, so I'm just going to flip through these. I literally have so many kits, which is 
so hard because everything is so cute and you want to buy it but then it's like there's not enough months or weeks in a month to use them all so this is my scribble prince co kit i mean scribble prince co binder next is the caress press mini binder and i just have some samplers here in the front as well as one functional deco sheet here which is her nail polishes there and then the rest again are kits so I'm just gonna flip through these I like to keep one kit in one sleeve because her sticker paper is very thick and I don't want to bulk up like the sheet protector so that's why I just keep one kit um, in the sheet protectors. So I have so many kits, guys. It's pretty ridiculous. So yeah, this is a Crest Press mini or Crest Press binder. I keep saying mini kit. I don't know why. And then the last binder I'm going to be showing you is my Little Miss Papery binder. So. Her binder is a mixture of things because I love Little Miss Papery. So this first uh, sheet protector here, I just have a bunch of mini sheets. So let me see if I can take it out. So I like have a variety of stickers, like so many, so many um, different stickers here. And I don't keep them in order because it's kind of hard to. And then on the flip side, we have glitter items. And those are just like multicolor icons. So that's the first sheet protector. The second sheet protector, I keep her multicolor sampler. Well, I have the sampler here, but I keep her, oh, I have a lot of samplers actually, so there's that. But I just keep these um, sampler sheets here that she came out with. And then on the other side are her work stickers that I just recently hauled. So there's that. Um, this next sheet here, I just have extra headers. When she did full kits before, I used to order the headers um yeah so I have a lot of those now she has just the right amount for her kits and then right here are some quarter boxes and half boxes um this right here I have habits um I'll take it out we have some habits here I have little miss papery labels to mark new releases and like whenever I get happy meal then the other side, I just have extra ombre boxes and some little things there. And then right here is, let's see, I don't even know. We have this Mandy, oh, I think this is like the sampler side. So I just have like these samplers here. So old. And then the other side is like holiday things. So we have this old countdown, um, this old Christmas kit here, a lot of these sheets because um, when I first ordered, or I ordered from her first mishaps and these were the sheets she was giving out um, when it was her grand opening and I got a lot of them. And then we have this horizontal Merry Christmas kit so that's holiday related sheets and then I believe the rest are all kits so I'm just gonna flip through them I have so many as you can see a lot of them are older kits so you won't see them anymore um, this was the recent kit that I hauled I have, I have like two base kits for Princess and I love that one. And then in here, I just keep personal kits. So I have the sweets, 
personal kit, the September personal kit, and the tropical personal kit. Now these are her new reformats. Well, actually, now these are considered old, but I do have her older um, personal kits where they were one page, but those are in my personal binder. Like, pers I have a binder where I kind of keep kits in there to use in my personal planner. So, guys, that is my sticker storage part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!